Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video talking about the mysterious sea people. And just a quick recap, the sea people are a mysterious group of naval warriors that were essentially unstoppable in the region of the Eastern Mediterranean between the 13th and 12th century BCE. And these guys, they were aggressive. They launched attacks against several ancient civilizations that resided in the Mediterranean and wreaked havoc on nations and empires like Egypt, the Hittite Empire, Syria, Palestine, and Turkey. But despite their legendary place in human history for supposedly being a fierce force that contributed to the catastrophic collapse of several yeast Mediterranean civilizations during the late Bronze Age, not much is really known about who these sea people really were and where they actually came from. And supposedly the sea people were eventually defeated by a coalition formed by Ramses III, and researchers think that the remainder of this mysterious civilization were either imprisoned, sold as slaves, or forced to join Egypt's army and were subsequently assimilated into Egyptian culture. Those those are, of course, just guesses because the only thing we really know about the sea people is that they eventually vanished from the face of the earth, leaving very few traces behind. And the historical evidence we have today are really only enough for us to be aware that they did once exist, but don't really give us much to go on in determining where they came from and what happened to them after their defeat. And like I mentioned in the previous video, there is so little evidence of this group of people that some historians even say that there really is no longer a necessity for mankind to passionately pursue the uncovering of the identity of the sea people since it's a venture that can never come into fruition. But apparently they spoke too soon because just recently an ancient 3200 year old slab of stone with inscriptions on it have been deciphered by researchers and that could hold the answers to the mystery of the sea people. According to the Independence, a research study that will be published in the December issue of the journal Proceedings of the Dutch Archaeological and Historical Society and in a book by Dr. Eberhard Zenger, a 30 feet long slab of stone was found in what is now modern day Turkey in 1878. Researchers believe that the stone is over 3,000 years old and the inscriptions on it was commissioned by the king of Amira, Kupanta Koranta, in 1190 BC. Anyway, when it was discovered in 1878, French archaeologist George Perrot had to copy the inscriptions before the stone was turned into a building block for a mosque by local villagers. But then for some reason, the copy of the inscriptions was lost and then only rediscovered a few years ago in the home of James Millars, an Egyptologist and archaeologist who died in 2012. After his death, his son found the inscriptions and then gave them to Dr. Eberhard Zenger, president of the Luwian Studies Foundation. The reason this was turned over to Dr. Zenger was because the language on the stone is ancient Luwian, which is an ancient Indo-European language that only about 20 people on the face of this planet can read. Now, according to the translations, the inscriptions first detail the fall of the Bronze Age civilizations, where it talks about the Luwians from Western Asia. Asia Minor who contributed decisively to the so-called Sea People's Invasions and thus to the end of the Bronze Age in the Eastern Mediterranean. So if this is indeed true, then according to the Foundation, one of the greatest puzzles of Mediterranean archaeology can thus be plausibly solved. Of course, then there are those who challenge the authenticity of the inscriptions itself because, well, it's only a copy of the inscriptions and nobody really knows whether this is authentic or not. But personally, I think this is a really interesting new piece of evidence about the Sea People who the scientists basically just gave up on. And of course, more information will be revealed once the study publishes in December, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. By the way, a lot of you guys sent me the story to talk about, so thank you so much, and definitely keep doing that. Keep sending me topics. Let me know what you would like me to discuss. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.